What's going on, IT? We are here doing day one, Fry and Leela Mele. And before I get started, I want to say, I think Khan got it right. I think that using Fry and Leela in a dual Mele, Valentine's Day weekend, beautiful week. Uh, absolutely beautiful. I, I That's a couple I like seeing celebrated. There's a bunch of couples that I feel like would have worked, but they especially have a place in my heart. One place that I feel like Kong might have failed is this image of Leela. I imagine that she's yelling at the animators, like, where the fuck is Fry? Like, why are we separated when we're supposed to be together? What the fuck? So yeah, uh, that's that's probably one place that, that could be better. Let's do a deck check and show you what I'm working with. Now, I am going up a little bit higher in character counts, so I'm gonna be doing a 12-12-3. And for this, it's because that Fry gets the buff. So even though I'm most likely going to have more times than I have characters, um, maybe even objects, I chose a lot of high, uh, high HP objects, but I'm hoping that the buff is gonna save me because that's not a normal ratio I like to do. I like 10, 10, five normally. Um, reason I did Fry overall is because Fry, I just have CM5 on uh, another Lousy Millennia, which is going to be dealing a decent amount of power. Uh, and then I have the art combo, which is going to be actually dealing the most power. Um, so I think that these are going to be some good ones. And then I added uh, CEO Fry just because I like the cripple all. And then just in case I'm in a tight spot, I wanted to be able to just nullify the playing field and try to outlive my opponent. So this is what I'm doing. This is my Swiss Army knife. Hopefully it works out and we'll see how it actually plays. There's no CM on Robot making Fry, but I kept him in because he is still strong enough that it, it works. So um, I unfortunately, and I'll just show you too, with Leela, uh, I just didn't have, what is, uh, we'll just do motivate. A lot of mine is just not upgraded. So I overall would not have as much power consistently across the board with Leela, even if I was doing some of her tankier combos that I have two CM on. Uh, so yeah, that's my approach. And we're going to see how it goes. On we go. What up, Bill Bob? I want you to be Billy Bob. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to call you Billy Bob for the rest of this match. All right, Billy Bob is throwing out. Uh, looks like Butcher with a knife. I am going to make the robot making fry, and we are going to decimate his card. Because, what is this going to be? That's, oh, I was getting some cripple on it. I was like, what's going on with the, the overall attack? Uh, so let's throw out Fry again, because Fry gets the buff. Always melee, melee, melee. Always throw out your character first. Get the buff. Now, it doesn't matter because we're going to be taking the win here. I'm just going to make whatever combo I want. Because why not? I'm CEO Fry. I can do what I want. I'm the boss. Okay. First win. Thank you, Billy Bob. I know what it said. I know what I want to say. Karas, 10. Hopefully I did that some justice. Maybe not. Hopefully. All right, we got Ricky Spanish out here. It's always easier right when Rumble's going on. You normally don't get, uh, you know, the full attack, but once Rumble's over, expect to only see Fry and Leela decks because there's nothing else that people are really going to play. Character first. Fry getting up to 80. Not the highest, but honestly, given the options, I'll take it. And, you know, it's it's like a PC at that point. So hoping that we get a clean sweep day one. Uh, that's pretty typical. Going up against Bobby Peru, who is currently doesn't even have a home during Rumble. Poor guy. Um, let's see. Start with character first. Let's see if he goes armed. Hey, I feel like he's going to. He is. Man. That always makes me feel bad when I when I see a player who is guildless and using the, the BEG. I don't know what happened, Bobby, but but I'm I, I feel for you, man. Hopefully you didn't get booted. Hopefully you didn't do something to a team to get you booted. Missing siege, mission rumble rewards, poor guy. I had to put him on as misery move on the next one. Savantes? Sav no, God, I 
I'm just totally out of it today. All right. Philip Dre Fry. I know that one. Zap Brannigan. I know these people. All right. What's going to happen here? Okay. That's, that's definitely dealing a good amount of damage, but we're going to go ahead and just crush him. I think, what is this, honestly? Like, we're doing 120, 100, almost like 130, 40 damage almost in between there. That's pretty crazy. Because, and it's in, again, for those of you who don't know or haven't been watching previously, I chose a combo that was burn and punch because they're both delivered to slot one when you make it in combo uh, in the first slot. So with melee, if they have the combo, they will make the combo. With clash, if they have the combo, they will make the combo. So, uh-oh, this is a bad start. We don't have any objects. Are we going to be able to get the object? Oh, good. It's not a full PC deck. This is 50 ways to die, and I might be finding one of them really quick. Maybe not, though. Because, look at this, over 100 damage dealt. This is, oh, God, it's so delicious. I love it. We're going to win. All right. And Fry is going to be taking it home. It was so fast, too. It takes one combo in slot one, and he just decimates. Oh, we have one more. I was just so happy. I was so ahead of myself. I was like, damn, doing great on time. Dr. Munchie. Oh, I, I definitely know how to say that. Dr. Munchie, what do you got for me, huh? You got some fun in here? Some funions? Uh, I didn't know that was armed. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let's go. Let's just play the staple. I don't got any CM on it, but it is just a tank. Taking it down. They have a combo. They're going to make it. They made it. And leaving slot one wide open, but doesn't really mean anything yet because we are still a little weak as far as that goes because the cripple was taking us down. So we're not going to go down in slot two, and we should have it here. All depends on how it goes. Slot one might take it. Nope. Now we will officially have the win. And I'll throw out a PC just for a little flavor. Just a little, a little juice on top. You're welcome. All right, now I think we're done. There it is. Now, real quick, I also wanted to point out something else in the store uh, that's been driving me freaking crazy. And honestly, let me know. If you're still here, I appreciate it. Let me know if this is also driving you crazy because I absolutely hate these double PC deals or these double uh, freaking mythic deals these boxes are so polluted like i understand that down the line you do get more guaranteed but i'm not here for the guaranteed a lot of times i'm playing to try to get that rng like i'm, I'm here for that level 13 to rng ones but if i get two of these and i have to spend 1400 tokens with a pool that's this freaking big like that's nonsense that's absolutely nonsense. I'm not going to get the cards that I'm really hoping for. I don't think these boxes are good deals, and I really hate that they are putting so much out at once. I, I don't know. I'm just not a fan, especially because there's just no double PC out box right now. I think that's another annoying thing. So we'll have to wait till Thursday before that gets dropped, and if they don't drop one, I'm going to be like, why? Why? Just start dropping PCs again. This is like where I want to spend my gems. It's where y'all want to see the box pulls, but instead they just keep wasting our time with these things. Which, I don't know. You tell me if I'm missing something, but I, I just see them as trash. It's never something I would feel comfortable spending my, my gems on. And I just feel like so many people haven't either. Because even for lower tier players, just the like, cost of entry is so high. 500 for the first pull. I don't know. Not a fan. Not a fan. That's my, this is my bitch and complain moment. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've either had a great day one or have a great day one if you haven't done it hopefully this is a reminder for you to get your hits in and if you've made it this far in the video like always i just ask that you like and or subscribe i just consider it actually just consider liking or subscribing you don't have to but i just want you to know it's something that i appreciate when you do it and i thank you very much for everyone who continues to watch and hopefully will watch the next video y'all take care and have a good one